these guys were born about 24 hours ago. There's nine of them, and so far all are healthy. But it is cold out right now, and piglets should have about 80 degrees Fahrenheit if possible. Now we're in the middle of the woods and we're nowhere near a heat source. On the plus side, Sally, the mama, can increase the air temperature around her belly by 40 degrees. So while they have a lot of straw in here, we're gonna add some more. We're also gonna try and get in there and cuddle them a little bit. I don't recommend this. Sows can be very dangerous. But Sally is our sweet, sweet sow. And we'd like these piglets to be a little friendly for people who will get them in the future. So we'll see how that goes. But first, more straw. We have a bale of straw here from one of our farming friends that we got for free to trade a little labor for. So we're going to try and roll it over to the pig pen. Since piglets need it to be about 80 degrees, we don't have a shelter per se. We're gonna build up a lot of straw to keep draft down. If possible. Ooh, currently have four different pig pens. We didn't really mean for that to happen, but it just kind of has. We have our boar in one. We have a yilt in another. We have Penny and three of her piglets, which are getting to be a little big now. And then we have Sally with her nine. But because we have so much straw, everybody's gonna get some. Full grown pigs can handle something like 20 degrees below zero, but we like to keep them comfy. Now when I said there's not a shelter, what I basically mean is there's no walls. They have a roof to keep the rain out. So what we're trying to do is prevent draft. So what we're gonna do is pile it up around the sides to keep that draft down see if she'll let us help her do that. Interesting fact about piglets, whichever nipple they get a hold of, that's their nipple until they're weaned. That's it. They don't share it. They will fight over it. It's incredible. But that's why you see some down on the bottom row and some on the top. So you can see she has built up quite the little straw palace here. But it's pretty low over here. It's high over there. And what she'll do is she'll put her back to the weather. You'll notice the piglets are right here in the sunlight and so is she on her exposed side. So we're gonna try and build up that straw layer with that mound that we just put back there. So let's see if we can do that without getting eaten. Once again, don't do this at home. If you're the ER doc about to treat me, at least you'll see how I got my injury. Setting up an easy way to get out of the pen. If needed. some of this. You can take that. You can take that. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. We'll build it together. We're 
just going to start by working with her. See if she'll get used to me being in here. Hello. It doesn't seem that she cares at all. She just laid down for him. And I am holding one. Good mom. Good mom. Yeah. And like I said, I've known this pig for almost two years. She's never had me worried or concerned for my safety. And I'm still only on one knee, ready to leap if needed. But I think we're going to be okay. You want some more straw, little one? Yeah. Hi. Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? <laughs> this is literally what you think it is. This is like a dream come true holding these little guys. It's okay. I know. Little adventure time. Here you go. Here you go. This, these guys look like cows, don't they? Look at those little guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. All right, all right. Now, if she was concerned about me being here, she wouldn't have walked off with all nine of her piglets right here. Oh, you're very, yeah, you're very brave. You're so brave. All right. I'm going to get out and not push my luck. What you haven't seen is Esther hanging out here by the edge of the pen. Just making sure everything's okay and everybody's where they're supposed to be. Aren't you, Esther? Well, we'll leave him alone for a bit. We've given him enough excitement, I think. Thanks for joining us today here at Flannel Farms. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you know when we release super cute piglet videos. We'll see you next time. Bye.